I did a session on how we can use artificial intelligence um, in the design of decentralized clinical trials and operations. Um, it was really interesting actually, you know, we got, I got a really good audience, really engaged, some really interesting questions. Uh, during my session, I covered, um, you know, the basic models of AI, which is the uh, language model and the generative AI, um, how these models can be used in our industry, how to train these models to be more patient centric. Um, also highlighted some challenges in decentralized clinical trials such as uh, participant adherence um, and how uh, tools uh, that use artificial intelligence can help us overcome that. Uh, similarly, uh, looked at challenges in the operation landscape that our study teams face uh, day to day, such as feasibility, um, lay patient summaries, etc., and how AI tools can um, use that. And we topped it up with a really nice use case uh, on how um, some of uh, the leading pharmaceutical companies are currently uh, partnering up with ChatGPT uh, to create an AI tool. So uh, yeah, I think I was pretty pleased with that. I think I came to the event with uh, wanting to learn a lot more about the trends, especially when it comes to artificial intelligence, what are the companies doing, how are we progressing? What I realized was we're all asking the same questions and we are all very eager and, um, you know, in this innovation space where someone needs to go first and someone needs to, you know, um, be innovative so we can all follow. But actually what I learned was it's, a, it's a, an industry-wide effort and if we are going to go down the pathway of, autom um, you know, automizing our operations, if we're going to go down the pathway of um, using AI in uh, patient-facing uh, tools, then we need to do it together as an industry. Um, I think that was quite empowering as well, that it's not a competition, we're all in it together.